What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everyone that's tuning in. I want to talk about a 19-year-old college basketball player by the name of Kamari Lands. That he he um he had a Tinder profile, and apparently he was chatting with someone, and that particular person took those messages and put it made it into a poster and brought it to the Duke Louisville game, and they did it with the intention on embarrassing him, a 19 year old. You know, the very interesting thing about this situation with Kamari Lands is that there are people who think that this is funny. They think that this is it's funny to embarrass a 19 year old. I guarantee you if a 19 year old girl had her dating profile messages made into a poster and brought to a game, let's say she plays volleyball or basketball i don't think you people would be laughing but because it happened to a 19 year old black male y'all think this is funny and even in this article from on three they're talking about how he learned a lesson why does he need to learn a lesson the guy was having a private conversation that didn't harm anyone he wasn't disrespecting anyone right why does he have to learn a lesson what what is the lesson to not trust anybody you know, the crazy thing about this is that this happened to Zion Williams, Zion Williamson, when he was at Duke. That's the irony. You got Duke fans who did this, who catfished Kamari Lance. I think it was some weird old male that did the catfishing. That was, it was this, this guy's idea. This happened to Zion Williamson where he was talking to some girls online and they put him on blast. I made a video about this. Duke fans wasn't laughing about that. But everybody thinks it's funny to mock this 19-year-old. And, and the sad thing is this, this website here that I got this article on, this is a website that's supposed to be for college sports fans. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be for the college athlete. But you're making articles trying to mock and disrespect a 19-year-old who's barely out of high school. This is the world that we are in. It's funny. It's, it's always men are always the butt of the jokes, especially black men. We are always the butt of the jokes for all these weird people. You have to be weird to think this is funny. And then they try to make it seem like, well, his his Louisville teammates couldn't do help but laugh. I mean, what else are they going to do? What else are, gonna, are they going to do? I guarantee you, if this was a woman, it wouldn't be funny. I guarantee you, y'all be trying to get somebody put in jail, sued. Y'all be trying to cancel them. But you're going to take the private messages of a 19 year old and put them, make it into a poster and take it to a game to embarrass them. See, it's always fun to embarrass the black guy, right? Let's get into this article. Duke fans turn Louisville Fort Kamari Lands dating profile into a game day poster. Louisville Fort Kamari Lands got a got a rough lesson about strangers looking to mock him. At as his dating profile became a Duke fans poster, Lands was with his team in Durham ahead of Monday's game and messaged someone he met on a dating app Tinder, looking to meet up with her while he was in town. Unfortunately for Lands, the private messages didn't stay private. As screenshots of his dating profile messages were blown up large for all to see. Now y'all wonder why these dudes don't trust anybody. They have trust issues. On a fan's poster in the gym, the viral image even caught the attention of NBA star Donovan Mitchell, who laughed at his alma mater's embarrassing moment. Let me tell you something, Donovan. If it happened to you, you wouldn't be laughing. You dudes are thin-skinned about people making videos about you. I guarantee you, if it was you, Donovan, you wouldn't be laughing. This person here says the Cameron Crazies posterized Cameron Lane's Cameron Lance Tinder profile and a conversation he had with a match in Durham on Sunday. The Louisville players and coaching staff can't help but laugh. I mean, what else are they going to do? What else are they going to do? They can't sit there and be mad. They got a game to play. This is why Duke is not a first-class college basketball program. 
Duke has become irrelevant and they're going to continue irrelevant. I don't know what their record is as of this season, but Duke doesn't have the same esteem that they used to. I wonder why. These are the people that follow your team that did this. The 19 year old, this is a freshman family, freshman. 19 year old freshman learned a tough and embarrassing lesson over the weekend as his lesson, as his messages asking his tender match to come my way on Sunday were blown up in his, uh, were blown up in his face on Monday, thinking that he was simply asking a girl to come and visit him. Apparently at the team hotel, he messaged his match asking her to come to the address he sent her. You know, these players are now going to have to start FaceTiming these girls because you can't even simply message them without this situation happening. So before these guys even ask about bringing these girls to, to their room, they, they, they need to FaceTime them or do some sort of uh, video chat just to make sure that you're talking to who you're talking to because apparently some guy is behind this. Probably some guy that's in the closet that wants these guys to like them so they try to use try to do these things to sort of mask the fact that they are on dating profiles catfishing men i mean how many guys is this weird guy uh catfishing online look at what happened to man tail was that funny y'all weren't laughing when when he when he spoke about that situation recently adding to his rough night the messages ended with him asking if she was actually going to come visit after all to apparently no response last night. According to the Courier's Journal, Brooks Holton, Louisville's players and coaches saw the sign before the game and got a laugh out of the freshman's misfortune. For an extra dose of embarrassment, it seemed that the former Louisville player and current NBA All-Star Donovan Mitchell got a kick out of it as well. In the grand scheme of things, the whole ordeal could have been more embarrassing for the freshman that uh, than it was, and he learned a valuable lesson about social media and AC ACC rivalries at the cost of college basketball fans knowing he's a dog person and a non-smoker. Yeah, he learned the lesson, I right, not to trust, not to trust people. So good job. He's learned the lesson not to trust people. That's that's the lesson that he has learned from this. All right. Cause you got some weird delusional male who's cat who's probably catfishing other men too because he's a in the closet weirdo and they think that this is funny they think that doing stuff like this is funny no dude you're weird you're a weirdo if you do stuff like this you're looking for male attention just like a woman is you didn't do this because you're you're just a duke fan that no this is something you plan on doing you've had practice you have practice. You dudes, you you Gen Zers, because you probably a Gen Zer. You Gen Zers are are getting it, it gets to the point to where a lot of you don't even know who you are, what your identity is. So you get on here and you try to embarrass people because you're embarrassed about who you really are. Because a lot of you guys don't know who you really are, and a lot of you guys are just screwed up and mixed up and you do stuff like this to make yourself feel better but at the end of the day you're still going to be you kamari land is going to go on to have a, a basketball career in college maybe even the nba and you're still going to be that loser that thought that this was funny so let us in the comment section let me know your thoughts like this video and share it follow me on facebook twitter and instagram and i'll see y'all next one